Diana and I am back with a, another reset video, duh. So for those of you who are new, I'm Diana. I am a registered dental hygienist and a content creator who makes videos about her life, my life, uh, here on YouTube. Basically showing you guys just kind of behind the scenes of whatever's going on with my life and that at the moment mainly consists around me working full-time, paying off debt, that kind of thing. In these videos I like to kind of show you how much I've made working as a hygienist and any extra income. Hopefully in the future it will include money, make, uh, making money from YouTube which is one of my goals. I'm not there yet. I also like to talk about some of my goals and kind of just rehash the last month, the month before, and kind of look into the future and the next month and see what I can improve on. So if you're interested in seeing this video, stick around, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, whatever. I very much appreciate it. And go ahead and watch all my other videos too. So I like to use youneedabudget.com because their mentality behind budgeting is that every dollar is used for something has like a reason behind it I cannot for the life of me budget thinking ahead of like how much I might potentially earn for my brain it's just too confusing too many numbers too many calculations not saying that I won't ever try it again I did buy it a spreadsheet that I really love I'll try and link it down below because if you're that kind of person you might really really like this spreadsheet I love how it works or how it looks <laughs> I love how it looks I just cannot do the um expected like how much i expect my wages to be because just a very visual person and i just cannot imagine what i'd be making and every month is so different so it doesn't work for me i like being able to budget just with the money that i have not the money that i think i might and then um this has really helped kind of curb my spending a lot all right let me just like get straight into the money part <laughs> This month I have made more money. Unfortunately, I've had to spend some more money this month, so it's all kind of evened out, but it's still it's still frustrating. I'm going through a lot of like anxious feelings lately and I have a trip coming up and felt like I needed to prepare and so I spent a lot of money. Um, but I wanted to kind of touch base on this with you guys who have been watching my journey for a long time. After my trip, <laughs> when I come back, I really want to sit down and focus a lot on paying off my debt, like really focus. And so I almost want to do maybe bi-weekly, weekly videos talking about how much debt I've, I've paid off, what I've saved money on. Let me know if you guys are interested in that or like what else you want to hear more about. Some of the pros <laughs> that I've experienced for the month of October have been that I've been paying off my gastric bypass surgery that I've uh, my dad paid for it up front and so I've been paying him back slowly. I have paid up to a total of 3000 out of, I'm just rounding it up, uh, the whole thing including the flights for my parents and for myself and anything extra was around $8,000. I'm just gonna give him a full 10 because there's other things that he's paid for and never asked for money back. So I'm $3,000 off of that within a month, two months. Yeah, I've paid off that much and I'm slowly hacking away at my credit card debt and then student loan debt. I am paying off monthly, but it's, it's just one of those things that I know it's gonna take a while. And so once I've paid off my credit card and my dad, then I can fully start implementing all those extra payments towards my student loan debt. I've just come to terms that the student loan debt is just something that almost everyone has to deal with at some point in their life. It's not necessarily seen as a negative thing um, when it comes to mortgages. So as long as I keep up with the payments, it doesn't affect my credit score, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's just one of those things I'm paying off monthly and I like try not to think about it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I had gastric bypass surgery aka weight loss surgery back in August. I've been mentioning it here and there but I haven't done a full-on video. It's such a delicate subject and I don't want to offend anyone so I just haven't talked about it. I haven't really talked about my experience and I want to because I feel like I would have looked wanted to look for something like that and I have found videos but 
it's always nice to have someone else's opinion added into the mix <laughs> and the experience. I've just been trying to find a way to talk about it and since it's so fresh I am a bit more like sensitive about it and so I don't want to hear any negative comments about it and I haven't so far thank god <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> a video will come out about that eventually I just it's not gonna be anytime soon. <laughs> I've been trying to write an outline for it for such a long time, it just keeps getting messed up. <laughs> if you are a hygiene student or working full time already, you saw one of my, you most likely saw one of my videos talking about how I attempt for the first time. So I attempt at two different offices. I was supposed to actually attempt today, but I don't know if you can tell I'm sick. I had sinus issues and a migraine from the sinus issues for about three days and it wasn't going away and I didn't want to chance it and have to call in sick last minute. I don't want to screw over in the lovely lady that I worked for through the temp agency. So I just decided to cut my losses, even though it would have been a good chunk of change, a really good chunk of change. I just, yeah, I didn't want her to be stuck uh, trying to find someone last minute. It was all good. I'm feeling better. It's just my sinuses, like my teeth were hurting so much too. They felt like they were gonna fall out. Like, oh, it was, it was just bad. The extra added income was great. So in total, this is after taxes. I made, this is just from temping, and the two times I had different rates. So one office I temped at was with a different agency that paid me less, and the other one was one that paid me a lot more. So altogether, I made, well, so I'm editing my video and it completely did not record a full on section of my video. Ugh. Anyway, to quickly rehash what I was talking about. Altogether, with temping, I made $784.01 for the month of October. I don't have any current temp um, days planned because I'm hoping to work Mondays at a different office so we'll see how that goes still waiting to kind of hear back from them in their schedule and then meet with me going on my trip I can't really start until the middle of April so <clears throat> April wow wow uh middle of November late middle to late end of November I'm trying to remember what I talked about now the part that cut out I kind of start talking about my Mac um book and laptop Mac laptop and where the money comes from because I have a separate bank account where all my temp money goes into and the only thing that comes out of it are my payments for my laptop so I'm gonna leave this there and continue on with the rest of the video and hopefully my camera didn't cut that out I don't know how Apple makes money off of this but there was no added cost to doing like the afterpay or whatever the, the thing that they use um, to split up the payments so I didn't have to drop like almost three grand <laughs> immediately. I've been paying it off slowly and I think in January it should be paid off. Quite soon it should be paid off. That money just, it's like $232 a month, something like that, to pay off this laptop. And that's the only money that comes out of that bank account. I'm looking to open a high interest savings account through that bank account as well. They're having a promotion or something like that. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to like maximize the areas where I can make the most money. It's very overwhelming. Someone with ADHD, it's like I need someone to sit down and like almost do it for me with me sitting there because I just get so overwhelmed when I'm trying to research this stuff. But I'm learning, I'm learning slowly but surely. I also got a GST paycheck because I'm still considered low income because I my taxes from my last year from when I went to school and I th think I won't be in the highest in the certain tax bracket until 2020 until I pay my taxes for next year because I started only working in April so my yearly income won't be anywhere near what it will be in the future working you know January to December so in Canada I think this is a Canadian thing, not just a provincial thing, but you get a GST check, so you get taxes um, given back to you depending on how much money you earn, so I made some income from that. Yeah, from my regular full-time job, I made $6,000 after taxes. 
which was great. Um, I had to cut some of my hours uh, just for a week and I missed a Saturday as well. Keep in mind there's also stat holiday pay that I got so I made a bit extra during that. So for this month because um, there was a week where I had to cut my hours a bit because I was helping my sister um, watch the kids while they were away on vacation so I needed to be home a bit early. Um, my groceries kind of went up <laughs> to buy more food for myself and sometimes for them. Medications, I went to the chiropractor quite frequently because my chiropractor was away for vacation for about a month <laughs> and so in that month I was like Ugh. like it just kept getting worse and worse so finally it's starting to get better that I feel like I don't need to go every week. Seeing her one last time I think tomorrow and then I go on my vacation and then I come back and I'll see how I feel <laughs> which I think I'll feel fine because I won't be working if you're not a hygienist you don't know anything about that world it's very hard on your body you think it's very easy looking the outside in but it's very tough um, would I let that stop you from becoming a hygienist? depends on how severe your neck and back issues are already you probably know yourself better at that point you might already be considering how hard it might be on your body um, and choose something else dental hygiene is very very tough I don't plan on doing it for till I retire like that's never been my goal with hygiene maybe it will be maybe it won't but as of now I have bigger plans <laughs> to make money uh, because I just truly genuinely don't like working who does um, I don't want to be chained and or dependent on any one income and at the moment I am um, luckily thankfully I do like hygiene I just the physical demands on your body uh, I don't think my body will be able to last up until I retire but I got into this game pretty late as well so I'm about nine eight years <laughs> behind if I had gone to hygiene school when I really wanted to or when I first thought of it which was back when I was like 20 21 I saved some money on gas uh, just because the week where I was staying at my sister's it's a lot closer to work so I was able to go longer without filling gas also, the gas like, biked up to a god-awful number, so thankfully it just worked out. I usually allot $500 a month for transportation, so fuel, but I only spent, over the last month, $283.78. I spent quite a bit of money on beauty and Botox. Uh, actually, like lip filler. <laughs> I got my lips done. I got a Botox lip flip. I didn't put Botox anywhere else because I just... I got it done once and I liked how it looked but it's not like an urgent need I might get it done in the future again but I just wanted to see what my lips look like with filler and so far been liking it it's a little hard getting used to it but I like that you can actually see like lipstick color on me now <laughs> and I've been putting money away into emergency fund my total that I want saved is $5,000. I just kind of picked that number out randomly. It's just a number I feel like if I constantly see my bank account, I feel okay at. Because I restarted my budget and because of my surgery back in August and like all those things, um, my savings and stuff kind of went out the window. So I'm trying to rebuild on that, just basically start fresh. There's a thing on you need a budget where you can just manually assign um, money to columns in areas that you know it'll just automatically do it for you so that's what I do and then if I need money I will take it out of certain um, categories and put it into others so for example it put money for vacation $160 I've already spent all my money allotted for vacation I'm not planning to go on vacation anytime soon again so um, this little bit might be uh, $160 that I have left over I might end up spending on just like a few little things that I need for the trip and then I need to exchange some money uh, for tipping and stuff like that so all together I have $440 just kind of sitting there um, but between now and the end of my vacation if something else were to come up and I needed to pay for I would just take that money out of that category for example I'm saving up for a camera as well but I put that on the back burner for now it's the Canon M50 but I've been swayed <laughs> to all these different types of cameras but I've just haven't been putting any money in just because like I said my spending has kind of uh, not been good this month to be honest also spent quite a bit of money on therapy clothes I spent a bunch of money on clothes because I needed them it's like such a horrible problem to have 
but my clothes are getting too big for me and I feel very like frumpy and just blech, like really gross in them and um, not all of them I still wear them I still wear what I can I just like hike it up really high or try and tie it if it has a drawstring like I try and make my bigger size clothes work for me but I knew going to a hotter destination I knew that I was <laughs> going to not feel good because a I don't have any summer clothes I didn't I've always been working during the summer so my staples when I was at a bigger um, size was just like leggings and a t-shirt didn't have any bathing suits nothing so I had to kind of buy all that and I did not like one bit of it just because I wanted to be buying fall clothes not clothes that I you know eventually hopefully won't be able to fit so yeah, bought some stuff from Shein. I don't necessarily like buying too much from them, um, just because the quality isn't always there, but I guess I'm not a millionaire. I don't have the money to be spending. Yeah, I need to figure out what I can do with them. I've looked into thrift stores and like cheaper areas, but I'm at this weird size where places like Marshalls and Winners and I don't know what else we have here, but those are the two that we have here. Um, they still don't really carry my size and the and when they do the clothes aren't my style unfortunately for shopping a lot of people including myself don't want to give up their plus size clothing because it's very expensive in Canada there's not a lot of options it's not that great of a selection either um, for us so here in Canada where I live oh, that's just like my spiel about thrift shopping for plus size it just it's not entirely impossible but like I said I get overwhelmed with a lot of stuff so thrift shopping as much as I try it just at the current size I am now, I'm not saying in the future it won't work, but at the current size I am now, there isn't very many options. So I'm always trying to be as honest as I possibly can about how I'm feeling and what my money spending is like because not only does it help others, hopefully it helps other people that are watching this um, who are struggling with money, it helps me as well be accountable and force me to look at my spending and I kind of work through my issues uh, with I would say like money guilt. I for sure have issues with having abundance of money. I've been watching a lot of videos lately just trying to like work through that mindset because there are days where I genuinely feel I don't deserve the money. Like these are just some of the thoughts that are going through my head that I don't deserve the money that uh, money scarcity like it's gonna go away the thing that I want it's not gonna be there by the time I have the money for it so I'm really 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 trying to work on it and that kind of leads into the money uh, budget type of content that I want to be making in the future so I'm gonna be starting a series soon I haven't filmed anything yet just kind of talking about the process of how I got to where I am at the moment and with my debt and then you know how I'm trying to pull myself out of it and then eventually you guys will see kind of as I'm paying my debt off increasing my savings kind of thing you'll get to follow along with that in this video series so at the moment one of my goals for the month of November is I really want to work on my money mindset and just trying to figure out what works for me I know I'll make mistakes I know there won't be some good months or good weeks or you know where I kind of overspend but I think that's life a whole reason behind budgeting for me is so that I don't have to be afraid of money I don't have to restrict myself so much I want to create a good balance where I can buy stuff that I want spend the money that I want to spend the money on without feeling guilty because right now everything that I spend money on when it comes to myself I feel incredibly guilty like so 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 guilty one of my goals is to work on fixing my attitude towards money and I know that's gonna be a long-term goal it's not gonna just magically get fixed in the month of November I've been writing out a list of books that I want to um, try and get through and read see if that helps and yeah I'll be creating a video series on it as well so again subscribe if you want to you know keep up with that I just haven't figured out exactly how often I want to be posting about it if it's like a weekly thing which I would love to do it just I don't know if I can post two videos a week 
consistently um, or if it should be like a bi-weekly thing. I'd love to be able to post weekly about it just because I think he'll force me to reflect back on the week and, and force me to look at my bank account more often than I already do. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so another one of my goals that I actually have been pretty good at, I even <laughs> managed to exceed my expectations. So for well, October, but for the month of September to now, I managed to post at least one video a week. Some of those weeks I managed to do two, which was thrilling. I'm very proud of myself and very happy that I managed to do that. My mood kind of just goes up and down and so that's another thing that I'm really trying hard to work on is being consistent and that's consistent in every part of my life. I think I've said this from the very beginning, consistency has always been my issue and it's because I'm afraid of a certain line of success. So I'm trying to break through that and keep going. Anytime I see any type of growth in my channel, I get scared. I don't want to post. It's very volatile. It's very vulnerable. I'm trying to, my nose is all stuffy. <laughs> I can't say certain words. I'm trying to be more vulnerable um, and push through it. And, you know, sitting here and, and thinking about it quite often, I think it was one of those things why I could also never um, lose weight. <laughs> I could lose weight, but I couldn't ever get past a certain point and then I would start gaining and then losing and I could never get past that certain number and so what the surgery has allowed me to do as well is put me in a completely uncomfortable zone it's forcing me to lose weight and I have I have kind of say but so I, I don't know how to explain the surgery but basically at this point I really have no say in how much weight I'll lose I'm just losing weight by following the guidelines that my um, surgeon has given me. It's again putting me in the uncomfortable zone where you know I want to just not have any attention put on myself. It's just funny because I'm putting myself out on YouTube but I want to curl in on myself and not bring any of this attention. I want to hide, I want to eat, I want to do everything I can to not lose the weight but this was before. <laughs> with before the surgery but now with the surgery I have no say I'm losing the weight and even though I still want to do those things I, I would get physically sick and it's just not fun it's forcing me to experience all these feelings head on and there are days like today I woke up and I was just filled with anxiety I've been trying to film this video so that I could have it ready and not be rushing on my only day off life happens and <laughs> Yeah, one of those reasons is the anxiety. I'm just not used to the attention that I'm getting. I don't want to go too deep into it, but the money thing correlates with the weight thing as well and the mindset of feeling like I don't deserve to be at this weight. I don't deserve to have this much money. I don't deserve this blah 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 and I don't deserve you know to have success on YouTube. I was really happy that I was able to focus my attention on YouTube and get much more videos out there. Going forward I'm really hoping I can get two videos out a week but we'll see. I'm There's just a lot of thoughts going on in my head right now. Minimum once a week for the month of November going forward <laughs> but <laughs> that was a bit rambly but I'm really really trying to get these negative feelings out of my out of my brain. I'm trying you guys, I'm trying, it's so hard. So I also set goals for myself to like read more. That didn't happen. I'm hoping on this vacation I can. So again, when I have too many options, I get so, so overwhelmed. It's almost like I need someone to tell me what to do and then I'll do it. And then that kind of snowballs into my own thing. But man, is it difficult. I also wanted to go for walks more and I started in September but October I just I don't know what it is I'm just exhausted one of my goals for November is not coming straight home after work or not just getting ready for, for bed straight after work I want to plan a little bit better so that I have food so that I can maybe go a walk around Walmart not necessarily spend money 
but I have this weird thought process where I feel like I don't have a lot of time after work and when really I do I don't go to sleep until maybe around 10 10 30 sometimes 11 and I'm done work depending on the day average a day I'm done work around 5 5 30 and then some days I have chiropractor but like I do have a good chunk of hours. I'm just not being good with the time that I have available. I'm feeling very like I have no life. I've always felt this way that I have no life. I'm looking to kind of just get myself out there doing something that's just not work and sleep because that's currently what it all feels like. I feel like I don't have a life and it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to go out in my head. It just means I'm doing something other than just going to work coming home, changing, showering, and then sitting here eating, watching Netflix or YouTube. Do I go for a walk if it's nice outside? I doubt it'll be nice for a while. <laughs> if it's nice outside or decent enough or read a book or just something different every day. So I'm not stuck in this like weird rut because I feel like if someone were to ask me at this moment, like what are my hobbies? What do I like to do? I, I genuinely do not know what I like to do. I feel like I can't really explain to anyone about my life and my hobbies and my interests because I I because I was so hyper focused before I'm finishing school that left room for nothing else in my brain. Um, again I had ADHD but wasn't being treated at the time and I knew it and it was just like a full-on process story for another time. But once I got diagnosed and I was on put on medication I had a bit of time before I fully started working full time and that was when you know I was able to post more videos, go to the gym, hang out with friends. Now that the majority of my day my medication is working while I'm at work and when I'm off of it I just you know flatline <laughs> and I become maybe it's not even my medication is just being overly um, not social it's just my social meter is depleted completely and that's why the only things I can do after work is come home, shower, eat and sleep. And then on the weekends I feel so exhausted still from the week that um, I don't do much other than maybe do something for someone else. I never really do anything for me very much so the beauty aspect is what I consider things that I do for myself. So my hair that's really more of like me trying to overcome constantly putting other people first. I know it's an extensive way but I'm slowly getting there. I'm slowly feeling like I deserve, you know, to want to look good every day regardless of, you know, if I wear a mask and my makeup gets smeared. I know I wake up every morning with the intention of trying to make myself feel better and that's just one of the ways that I've been coping with that is by putting more effort into how I look because I've realized that it's a strong connection for me specifically. On if I feel like I, I don't want to say if I feel like if I look good, but if I feel like I put in the effort, then the rest of my day feels a lot better because at least I did one little thing in the morning to start my day off. So that was just a bit of an emotional dump that I felt like I needed to get out. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hoping that November kind of gets a bit better for me and that I keep growing as a human being. Those are just some of my goals. My brain works in a really weird way and I'm just trying to figure out how to work with it instead of against it because I feel like I've been working against it for such a long time that I've been doing things that clearly have not been working for me at all. For, so for some people it might seem counterproductive on um, the way I do things but it's the way that I feel like my brain needs things to be done. I don't know. I know this video was kind of um, because it kind of just came off from the top of my head. I just really needed to word vomit everything out because I was feeling super anxious today. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I love talking to you guys. Message me on Instagram. Any questions, dental hygiene, whatever, anything related, go for it. <laughs> and if there's anything particular type of video that you want to see, let me know down below too. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!